In many ways, the Stromlo Observatory is the creation of Walter Jeffrey Duffield. He was the gentleman who uh, founded the observatory, and in fact, he wasn't just the first director of the observatory, he was also the entrepreneur who convinced the government that a Commonwealth solar observatory was something that was needed and that Stromlo was a good place to have it. Joan was uh, Geoffrey Duffield's daughter. She grew up here on Mount Stromlo in the director's residence. It was a very important part of her life and she feels a strong personal attachment to it, which she's followed up over her very long lifetime. So of course she lived to be over a hundred and for many of those years, she would come up and visit Stromlo every year, talk to the people here, make sharp inquiries of the students as to how they were getting on, comment on how the place had changed since she was a girl, and was generally very engaged with Stromlo. It was a real pleasure to have her involved. The connection between the, the Duffield family and Mount Stromlo is it's an ongoing one. Because of, of Artie Jones' continued engagement, in many ways, it's, you know, it's, it's Walter's legacy being returned again to Mount Stromlo. Even though Walter Duffield and his daughter Joan are not around, their passion and their legacy and their nurturing can continue into the future, which would be rougher without them. Click on this one and note that these images change. Well, it's terrific for researchers here to feel that people actually care about what they're doing. Often you can feel that you're isolated. We're here on this hilltop. We're staring at the stars. Are we actually connecting with people? There's something very nice about having the support of somebody outside the observatory who really cares about the place. I mean, that's, that, I think, for, for me, has been, has been the big thing. Uh, the Duffield Scholars have done incredibly well. A number of them have gone on to get Hubble postdoctoral fellowships and some of the other internationally top-ranked fellowships. We have one former Duffield Scholar who's now a professor at MIT, others who are in Germany, some in Britain, and several others in the United States. Giving people the opportunity to come and learn, it's just such a, a precious thing. I wouldn't be able to study for a PhD without that scholarship. It means absolutely everything to me that I was lucky enough to get that because, yeah, without it, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't be here. I'm just one researcher, but I know all of our astronomers and all our scientists up here, and not only all our scientists, but all of the, the public people and the school children who go through the facilities at ANU are thankful to really all the donors who are helping the university continue to be one of the best in the world.